Hello YouTube, this is Pyromania with another advanced batch programming video. This one will be the third one. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own command prompt command using something called parameters. So basically what a parameter is, it's a little thing that looks like this, percent one. And if you know about variables, you'd know that it would be percent, uh, like percent something percent, and that's a variable. But parameters are like variables that can be acted upon externally. So and there's a few different kinds, like this one just gives you raw data. This one gives you the data if something has quotation marks. And basically the way it would work is like this. You'd have a command, msg, you'd put a space, and if it's just one command, msg, and it'll run something. But normally it has parameters, which would be the space, Boom, it would be this or the IP address, which is parameter number one, you space, and then your message, which is parameter number two. So um, basically this would remove any quotation marks on any parameter, and you can have uh, you can go from parameters one through nine. If you put parameter zero, it gives you the name of a loop, which would be like start or something. So you probably shouldn't do that. So here, we're, I'm going to show you how to do a simple math command just to show you the concept. And as usual, you start with at echo off, even on a command. So at echo off. And then, say I wanted it to have adding and subtracting capabilities. So then I would put if then percent one for the first parameter equals equals add. Then you put this set set slash a num equals percent two plus percent three so there so our syntax for this because I'm gonna title this command math so it'll be like math add four or five and six so this right here will tell it to add the two numbers this will be the first number to add and the second number to add so it'll output 11 so then, say I wanted to do adding and subtracting, if percent one equals equals sub for subtract, then you would put um, set slash a num equals percent two minus percent, oops, percent three, and then that. But say, like normally on a command, if you would type in help, and then the name, no, not help, uh, like say you would go here for the msg command msg and then put this parameter boom it'll give you like a help thing or like echo and it'll tell you what it does you could probably do something like that so if percent one equals equals then echo help stuff okay so that's good um, but you actually want it to output something, so now echo percent num percent, because it was because num was set as the variable here, so this outputs what it made, and then at the end you type in go to e off with the uh, colon, and that'll I'm not sure why, but that helps it not get stuck in anything. Just try not to name anything e off. That's kind of like the null function for when you go like this. There's not really any files named null. So yeah, now let's save it as math.bat, already exists, yeah, override it, whatever. So I close this, and here is our little math file right here. So say I want to use this now, I get command prompt, set the thing to the desktop, so cd desktop, and then I would just type in math, add, 5, seven so five plus seven is twelve boom twelve now what about math sub nine six it'll give me three three and now let's type in math oops okay so apparently it's a little different then let me just try this out You might have to put quotations around this. Huh. 
help stuff. Right there. So yeah, I guess it would be useful to put quotations around all of this. Uh, so yeah, just a note, word of advice, add quotations, and let's check it out now. Math. Huh, but I don't like the way that works because see here how it gave me the last, um, the last number. So here I'm going to type in set num equals zero. So now it'll give me, or actually no, I'll change it to a space. There. That's good. No, oh, doesn't let me do space. Okay, zero is good enough. So see? And I type in slash slash, and then normally instead of help stuff, you'd actually type out, oh, add, command, adds, subtract, command, subtract, but that's not there. So now you're thinking, okay, this is done. All I got to do is just write a, uh, write a program, type in math, add, and then 6, 7 to get 13. Um, but actually, if you were to type this into a program and run it, it wouldn't work. And I'm not sure why, but what you have to do is use the call command. So you type in call, and then it would work normally. So pretty much just write out the command like you would normally do, and then just add call right before it. So let's try this out. At echo off, and then pause, test bat. Okay, close this. So here we have our test.bat click answer was 13 uh, what if we would do sub so 6 minus 7 negative 1 so yeah that's pretty much how you make a command the other thing is is that when you run this um, you have to have the program you're running be in the same directory as the command or vice versa unless you put the command into your system 32 folder yeah folder which would be here somewhere so right now I'm gonna just dump uh, math into there and now if I open up command prompt and I could be in any directory type in math add six five, seven five number is twelve so yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe